हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्ट्यू बेबी सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस व्हॉट इज द आयडियल मोडॅलिटी फॉर प्रेग्नन्सी इन अ व्हेरी सिव्हिअर पी सी ओ डी पेशंट इज इट आय यू आय ऑर इट इज स्ट्रेट अवे आय बी एफ नाव हू इज अ सिव्हिअर पी सी ओ डी पेशंट अ पेशंट हू हॅज हायपर अँड्रोजनिझम इन्सुलिन रेझिस्टंट obese or thin patient with more than 25 follicles on both the sides of the ovary thereby making her completely unovulatory and lot of hormonal indisturbances are seen in these kind of severe pcod patients in these severe pcod patients it's extremely challenging to have a pregnancy and hence there are two modalities in assisted reproduction which can be offered to them the first one basic technology intrauterine insemination or iui disadvantages of iui in very severe pco patients are that success rate is only around 10 to 15% and because it is very severe pcos patient even with a minimum dose of oral ovulations sometimes many follicles are created and a condition called as ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome or ohss can be seen which can be dangerous the second option is to straight away opt for an assisted reproductive technology called as ivf or test tube baby in which we have a controlled ovarian stimulation and a baby is made in the machine with the icsi technology or ivf and then the frozen embryo transfer can be done peacefully at a later date this advantage is much that the success rate can be elevated in iui from 15% to test tube baby up to the tune of 60% which is way too higher as compared to iui in these patients it has been seen that because of very severe pcod the hormones are not aligned and as a result of which the egg quality is many a times tremendously compromised thereby decreasing the success rates in iui so given a choice in a very severe pcos patient who is not ovulating iui or ivf my personal choice for this kind of a patient would be a basic ivf technology for shortening her time to pregnancy thank you